let's talk about a very, very freaky birth anomaly, amorphous globosis. Now, trigger warning ahead, this one is bad. So if you're even a little bit squeamish, I don't recommend watching this one. Now, amorphous globosis is a birth defect that is the most common in livestock. It has the most been observed in cattle, but also observed in things like sheep and goats, and even very, very, very rarely in humans. Now, this happens in the case of a twin pregnancy, when there are two separate fetuses developing within the mother. However, this specific case happens when the development of one of the twins goes very wrong and ends up with this amorphous globus. Now, I am going to show a picture. So again, if you're squeamish, scroll away. This is the result of one of the twins. Now, this is one of the more tame examples I could find on the internet. Um, if you want to look at some of the more gory ones, go right ahead. I'm not going to show that because I don't want this video taken down. But this is one of the twins. That's it. That's all that develops. Now, there can be different degrees of development in this. Sometimes it's just a ball of skin and flesh tissue. Sometimes there can be organs in there. Now, they're not functional organs, and this thing is, while technically in the mother, alive, but once it comes out, it has no functional anything, so it is dead very, very quickly. But sometimes this does still have vaguely formed organs in it, like a liver, like some digestive tract, sometimes hearts, but nothing connected to the outside that could be any form of a functional living creature. Sometimes in rare cases, bone and cartilage also develops, but most of the time it's just this flesh orb. Now, this always happens in cases of twin pregnancy, and most of the time, the other twin that's not the orb comes out perfectly fine. Whereas this one is still birthed, but is not at all viable because there's no organs, there's no anything other than a blob. Now, it can still be sustained within the mother um, via the placenta and umbilical cord and all that, but as soon as it is birthed, it is dead because this is not an animal. It's just a sphere of tissue. Now, as of right now, there's no concrete exact reason as to why this happens, but it is most likely due to an error in development where one twin is completely fine and develops normally, where the other one's development is just halted some point through the process, so they don't develop into anything other than a orb. So while this thing is not alive any longer and not viable, most of the time the parent and the other sibling are completely fine unless there were other factors that were not due to this blob.